hello everyone welcome to clean coder youtube channel so today we are going to solve uh, problem number 105 uh, construct binary tree from pre-order and in order traversal so this is uh, very very widely asked uh, problem both in uh, online tests and for interviews so i'll uh, recommend you to please uh, watch the complete video and please uh, pay your full attention because this is a really important problem so let's uh, start uh, going through the problem statement given two integer arrays pre-order and in order where pre-order is the pre-order traversal of a binary tree and in order is the in order traversal of the same tree construct and return the binary tree okay so they are expecting a binary tree from us and what they are giving us is a pre-order and in-order traversal of binary tree so uh, if we consider this input okay if we consider this input uh, the pre-order traversal 3 9 20 15 7 and in-order traversal 9 3 15 27 so they are expecting this tree build out of this okay so let's uh, we'll go through this example in detail uh, in the whiteboard let's uh, get an overview of all the constraints which they have given to us to get a better idea of the problem okay so uh, they are telling us is that uh, pre-order dot length okay the pre-order array could have anywhere between one to three thousand nodes and in order array length will obviously be equal to pre-order length array and uh, the value of uh, individual nodes could be anywhere between minus 3000 to plus 3000 pre-order and in order consist of unique values please pay attention to this constraint pre-order and in order consist of unique values because we'll be exploiting this uh, constraint to optimize our algorithm so i'll uh, recommend you to highlight this point in your notebook okay let's move to the other constraints each value of in order also appears in pre-order okay pre-order is guaranteed to be the pre-order traversal of the tree and in order is guaranteed to be in order traversal of the tree okay the problem is uh, quite straightforward let's uh, move to our uh, whiteboard now uh, okay so so this is the pre-order traversal which they have given to us okay this is the in order traversal which they have given to us this is the, these are the indexes which i have marked what they are expecting is a binary tree like this so they are there are like uh, multiple approaches to uh, basically uh, solve this problem uh, we are going to uh, follow the approach where uh, we would directly build uh, the tree okay we are not going to uh, do any like in, in intermediate kind of uh, computation we are directly going to build the tree and we are going to do this recursively so now let me give you a hint of uh, the algorithm which you can uh, basically try to build this tree recursively okay so in the pre-order traversal uh, we'll start traversing this array from index zero okay so if you pay attention to the first element right three okay what is this element in this tree this is the root of the tree right and let's search this three in in order traversal okay so in in order traversal where is this located it is located here okay so again pay attention like all the uh, array elements which are towards the left side are uh like all the array elements in the in order uh array which are in the left of three are in the left of uh, original binary tree also and all the elements which are towards the right of three are towards the right of this uh binary tree so we are going to basically follow a recursive strategy so first we will iterate three and we'll write something like this three and on left side uh, we can say we have nine and on right side we can say we have uh, 15 20 and 7 like we are not sure of the arrangement at this moment uh, this is a recursion right 
uh, in recursion we are not sure uh, what is the arrangement till the point we actually uh, reach that node okay so this is the state when we are at three so now uh, let's move forward so the next element would be uh, nine right so uh, let me just erase this okay so the next element would be nine okay so uh, i am doing a left recursive call in this tree and i reached the element number nine so basically this is the node which i reached so i'll make this node nine and i'll return this to this three okay so if i search this nine in this in order traversal clearly we can see that uh like when when uh, we reach uh nine when when basically we are going forward this is a actual bound for us on the right side and uh, this array has no element on the left side so clearly this is a terminal node uh, of the binary tree which we are supposed to return so nine is the terminal node of this uh, binary tree let's uh, now uh, return back to three and let's do a uh, like basically move the uh, pointer one step forward so let's uh, we'll move to 20 okay so uh, let's search 20 in this in order traversal array so 20 is here so we have uh, 20 here okay so i'll just quickly erase this so we'll have 20 here and clearly now we have two bound set one is after three and one is before 20 so clearly in the left side we have only 15 as the terminal node right and on the right side again uh, this seven has we have bound set like we have an element after 20 and uh, it is a terminal towards the right so again seven would come here only so we can basically build this tree recursively so uh, if you haven't got a hang of algorithm till now don't worry i have deliberately kept it a little abstract so that uh, you don't get lost in the recursion uh, as i will uh, go through the code you'll have a better picture of this so let me move through the code part okay we are going to see each and every function one by one okay so let's start so we are given build tree and we are given two arrays pre-order and in order uh, this is the base condition if either of the array is null my answer is null so uh, index actually uh, you have seen me iterating the pre-order array uh, in that i was maintaining uh, the index at which position i have reached in recursion so in java what happens is like uh, if you use any variable like int uh, primitives like that so they all are passed by value so if you want to use something uh, like passed by reference you either can use an array with one element or you can make your own class so i'm uh, using this sh kind of shortcut uh, i'm making an array of one element so after that what this function does is aux it calls a recursive function passing a pre-order and in order traversal index this uh, index zero is my uh, starting point of the uh, array and pre-order dot length minus one is my ending point of the array okay so this is the recursive function now what we are doing here is we are making a, a new node with pre-order of index of zero right so earlier i have demonstrated you that uh, the element at which we are currently in the pre-order traversal is the current node okay so we need to recursively build the tree towards the left and right side so uh, now what i am doing in the next step is uh, the search is a function search api what it is doing is it is searching this key pre-order index of zero inside my uh, in order array okay pre-order index of zero i am searching a element of pre-order traversal in in order array okay and bounds i have passed low to high 
which are uh, the ones passed to me in this function okay so uh, i'll reach here and here i am doing a basic uh, o of n search and i am returning the uh, index when i find elements and i can also return a negative one if i'm not able to uh, find any element okay this ideally won't happen so this case you can take like ignore so this i am able to search uh, in my in order array after that index zero plus one this is i am incrementing the index by one that is moving forward one step in pre-order array now these calls are really really simple this is nothing but building the tree recursively temp dot left this this node we made right so its left child is this temp dot left and its right child is this temp dot right okay let's check the recursive calls aux pre in index these all are same only bounds will differ okay so for left the bounds would be low to that elements index minus one right so for right uh, the bounds would be that elements index plus one to high and this i am doing recursively and finally i am uh, making the tree and i am returning uh, the root node of the tree okay uh, i hope like uh, this makes any sense to you uh, that's why i was doing uh, the recursion part earlier so that uh, you would have a better idea once you uh, uh, go through this code so i hope uh, you have gotten a hang of this code like if you are still struggling uh, i'll recommend you to grab a pen and paper and uh, try to uh, just uh, take the sample input and uh, try to draw the uh, tree yourself you will land in a much better understanding so now let's analyze the time and space complexity of this solution so the time complexity of the solution is pretty straightforward it is o of n square y n square because n is for iterating each node once and the second n is because i am doing a lookup so this lookup is also costing me o of n so this this time complexity roughly translates to o of n squared and space complexity is pretty straightforward it is uh, proportional to uh, the height of the binary tree okay so uh, you can take the space complexity to be o of log of n okay now uh, here is the trick like i told you in the beginning of the tutorial right uh, they have mentioned a hint to us right each value of uh, where was it uh yeah the pre-order and in order consist of unique values okay this is the hint they have mentioned to optimize this code further let's see how we can optimize this code further so pre-order and in order consist of unique values so what we can do is that we can do better than what we have done here actually this lookup is very very unoptimized right now this is a brute force lookup what we can do is we can store all the keys of the in order array uh, inside hash map along with the value as its index so that uh, we can uh, know the index of a in order array element in o of one so uh, that sort of thing i have already implemented in the interest of time so let me quickly walk through you to that part also so this optimization is basically hash map based and uh, let me zoom in a bit okay so the code is exactly same the difference part is just here i am taking a hash map and i am uh, basically uh, storing all the element along with its uh, index mapping in order array element along with its in uh, index mapping inside the hash map so this part i have done in advance this hash map i am passing to the recursive function which i am receiving here so here i have commented this code now i am not doing uh, o of n search i am directly getting hash map uh, dot get pre order index of zero so this is o of one operation now and this search part is actually 
uh, redundant now you can remove this part also I've just kept it for uh, like better comparison of the two approaches so now what would be the time complexity you tell me so time complexity has now reduced to O of n because lookup is now O of 1 uh, remember hash map lookup on an average amortized lookup is O of 1 so this lookup is O of uh, 1 and the overall time complexity is O of n uh, now the space complexity uh, we have increased the space complexity actually because we have taken a hash map and hash map takes uh, space so space complexity is also O of n so if you liked uh, my explanation and if you liked uh, my tutorial uh, please 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 subscribe to my channel uh, it would mean a lot to me and uh, please give it give a thumbs up